what our what are the x values in this scenario? The people. So what is a reasonable amount of people? Well, it depends on your party, right? So it kind of depends on how many people you want to have, right? So let's write that down. Depends on how many people you want to invite. What was that? Who just said that? Sure. What did you say? I repeated exactly what Zane said. What is that? What did you say, Zane? I didn't say that. I just heard him say it. What? What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? What did he say? Okay, we're moving on. So we know that it's a small, fancy location. So saying that we're going to have a thousand people doesn't make sense, right? So most people, when they think of like a small, fancy location, they think maybe between zero and 40 people, right? 40? Mm -hmm. Think about it. It's not that much, right? But it's fancy. It's fancy. Okay. So remember that X is what is taking the place of people, right? Why can't we just put X there and then say X equals people? No, we're, we're, we're sticking with the actual information that's given in this, okay? Determine a reasonable range for this function. So let's say that we know it's going to be at least $1,000, right? And let's say we invited all 40 people. What would our total be then? Right? 40 times 25, 1,000, plus the other 1,000 is 2,000. So that's if 40 people are invited. So the range is the cost, and the domain is the people. So as long as you can get past the funny letters and words and things that are used instead of just X and Y, these aren't so bad. So what would the function of 16 be? What are they asking us to find when they say find the function of 16? What are they asking us to find? 16 people, right? So remember, the P is the people, right? So if they put 16 where that is, so how much would it cost? So it would cost $1,400 if you invited 16 people. Okay, so if the function of 25 equals 1,625, what does that mean in the context of the problem? What does that actually mean? Nate? 17 people invited to the party. How many? 27. What? Not 27. Not 27. My bad. Um, 25. 25 people were invited to the party. I, I there you go. That's it. 
Okay, we kind of already know the answer to this. If $2,000 was spent, how many people attended? 40, right? So we're going to put the $2,000, this is our function of P, so we're going to put the $2,000 equals 25P plus 1,000. So we're putting that there. We know the total cost. We're trying to figure out how many people. Okay, turn it over. Let's do another practice. I love them. It's like my favorite of all time. Well, wait, wait, cinnamon is good, but cinnamon is I completely disagree. Hot tamales are the better version of Mike and Ike's. Nobody likes the green Mike and Ike's. Nobody. No, those are the worst. Mike and Ike's are the worst. What? Okay. Let's go ahead and look at the back of this. Okay. Suppose this function, so it's very similar. We're sticking to the same, same process here. We have f of c, remember that's just y, equals negative 6x plus 150. Represents the amount, and this should probably just say, no, f of c left on a gift card after drinking c coffees at a coffee shop. So the c just represents the number of coffees, right? So y is what's left, c is like our x. Again, don't let this throw you off. It's just a formal way of saying why, right? And the C is a C because we're talking about coffee, right? So the letter corresponds often to what we're talking about. So what does the negative six represent? Six coffee? Minus six dollars. Yep. Minus six dollars per coffee. Right? We're taking away $6 from our gift card every time we get a coffee. What does the 150 represent? Uh, yep. Starting amount on the card. Okay, so now we're going to determine a reasonable domain for the function. So remember that's all the possible x values. So you can go between 0 and how many drinks? How many drinks can I order if they cost $6 each? 15. No, my bad. Harsha? 25. 
Okay, so it represents the number of copies you can purchase on the gift card. Okay, that's what it stands for. And then our range is pretty easy. We definitely have a limit. So what's my range? Zero to Sebastian? 150, right? Because I have $150 on there. Oh, this is just supposed to say C up here, and this is supposed to say X. How come you guys didn't correct me on that? Somebody noticed, and they didn't say anything. Who, who was it? Who noticed and didn't say anything? This was supposed to say C and X, and this one's supposed to say... Come on, guys. Did you notice, Grace? You just say anything? Well, thank you. I appreciate your um, blind support. I appreciate it. It's magic. Okay, so it can be between zero and 150, money left on the gift card, right? So then what would a function of 12 be? Where am I going to put that 12? Where's it going to go? It's going to be the x value, which is also our c value, right? So the function of 12 equals negative 6 times 12 plus the 150 I start with. And that is the amount left on the gift card, $78. Sebastian, turn around, please. Put your paper down. Let's go ahead and relate this back to the context of the problem. What does this tell me? F of 15 equals 60. What does that tell me about this situation? Fifteen coffees, and I'll have sixty dollars left. Excellent. After buying. So remember, this 15 right here is my C value, right? That's the number of coffees. After buying 15 coffees, I will have $60 left, All right? That means I spent $90 of coffee. Wow. A lot of expensive coffee. Okay, let's suppose you have $18 left on your gift card. How many coffees did you purchase? Carson? How'd you know that? 18 <laughs> equals negative 6C plus 150. I mean, you use your reasoning skills, but mathematically, we would subtract 150 from both sides. You get negative 132 equals negative 6C. Purchase 22 coffees. But you're right, the max is 25. 
three coffees each, three times. So you knew there had to be for six dollars each coffee. You could only have three left over, so it had to be twenty-two. If you had explained it that way, Carson, on a quiz, that's perfect. Leave this out. Don't put it away. Don't stand up. We're not done. Sit down. you just did go ahead and work on this I want you guys to go ahead and get started on this study guide? it's not the study guide this is practice of what we just did so go ahead and get to work use the notes page we just took great use those five minutes It's not homework unless you guys don't use these five minutes. There's actually ten minutes left, so you have ten minutes. I didn't want to use these.